Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is Divine Truth Tarot. And today I am going to be doing an update on the collective. I posted a video yesterday that was my post New Year's video, just talking about really channeling the energies of what's going on in the collective and talking about what has shifted because a lot of us were feeling a lot of restlessness and anxiety and physical pains, um, particularly head pain, jaw pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain, prior to the end of 2019, as we prepare to transform you know, our bodies and also our minds you know, to enter into this more 5D reality. So we are shifting out of this 3D reality, this physical reality that we think is real, but is actually really an illusion and as we shift into the 5D reality, and I don't know about you guys, and it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but my skin is glowing from within. So a lot of you might notice your skin is a little more translucent, it's glowing. Um, you might notice things like your body starts to shift because with ascension symptoms, your body will shift. So you will have physical, you might gain physical weight like me. Yay, it's so great. <laughs> or. Uh, you may actually lose weight. So it really just depends on, you know, are you connecting with the spirit realm? Are you connecting with the angelic realm? Um, my beautiful friend guided by angels um, answered that question the other night. I said, why have I gained weight, you know, through this ascension over the past three years? And she said, oh, that's easy. If you're connected to the spirit realm, then you tend to gain weight. It's almost like a protective measure. I've also heard that it could be, you know, you trying to shed your ego and your ego really holding on. Um, but if you're connected more to the angelic realm, then you may actually lose weight. So I'm going to start connecting more to the angelic realm. I am connected to the ascended masters that has been confirmed uh, for me several times over the past month or two months. So my connection is definitely to the spirit realm at this present time and to the ascended masters and my ancestors. So that's who guides me when I'm doing my channelings. And I wanted to also let you guys know that I, when I'm doing a reading, I interpret intuitively. So I may not interpret by the book. Um, there are other readers who do so, but I use my intuition to guide me. So if I pull one card, there might be a different interpretation depending on the spread, depending on the day, depending on the energies, and depending on what my intuition is telling me. So I just wanted to share that in case there are any questions about that. I'm, I'm learning as I go. Um, I, I'm a work in progress. I'm learning and I evolve every single day. So I'm so glad you guys are here on this journey evolving with me and I cannot wait to grow this channel. Very excited, I'm very dedicated to it. So thank you so much for being here today. And I hope your energies are lighter as are mine. I've been blessed over the past two days here, yesterday and today so far that I felt really good. But I'm also on a uh, metabolic cleanse that my functional doctor suggested to me. So I'm cleansing my liver. I'm giving my metabolic systems a little bit of a break. I'm on day three of 10. So I'm eliminating grains and nuts and seeds today. I'm going to do low fat until about 4 p.m. And then after that, I can add some fat in like healthy fat, like avocado or coconut oil, eating greens, fruits and vegetables, and really drinking a lot of lemon water. If you guys are interested in me doing a video on nutrition and you know how I eat, I am a plant-based eater. I'm happy to do so, so let me know in the comments below. And we're gonna get started with a Love Yourself, How to Love Yourself card by Louise Hay, as we always do. And if you guys are interested in a one-on-one -on -one personal individualized reading from me, please reach out to me at the email below. I also offer energy healing that can be local or distant, and I also offer coaching. So if you're ready to step into your personal power, I coach as well. So let's get started. Let's get started. Universe, thank you, thank you. That was easy. I affirm that I am totally willing to freely forgive everyone. So we had a message in yesterday's reading. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. And it was a message of forgiveness, really the, the feminines forgiving the masculine and also the feminines forgiving their father or father figure in their life. So here we have another validation and confirmation. I affirm that I am totally willing to freely forgive everyone. On the back of the card we have, I release from within me all bitterness and resentment. I let go of old hurts and forgive everyone, including and especially myself. So beautiful, beautiful card. I'm gonna show you guys the spread. So I will do 
So I have my selenite crystal here that was gifted to me for Christmas by a beautiful friend. And this is actually a uh, John of God crystal. So this is a very special and very powerful crystal. So I wanted to just include those on today's video. We're going to start with Spirit of the Oracle, Spirit of the Animal Oracle here, because I'm feeling some powerful animal presence here in the reading as I have um, a kitty cat here. <laughs> I'm feeling powerful animal presence, and I have been actually since we entered 2020. So I would like to know what spirit animal is with the collective of divine feminines. And remember, feminine and masculine, I'm speaking of energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be man or woman. It could be either or. It's interchangeable. I just got chills. These cards are a little more challenging to shuffle because they are big. So I'm feeling a very powerful energy with the masculines and a very serene and peaceful energy with the feminines. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get like white buffalo for the masculine or something. And with the feminine, we might get, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but just um, kind of a quieter energy. All right, spirit. Can we please have a card for the collective of divine feminines? Thank you. What did I tell you? So the feminines, dog. So dog is a symbol of the friend, you know, man's best friend. Today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. So the feminine is really in this happy, go lucky, joyful, calm energy. And she is choosing to be happy. She's making the choice to be happy despite external circumstances. So despite what might be going on in the outside, despite what friends and family might be saying, and even despite what the 3D external reality looks like, because we all know how triggering that can be when the 3D reality doesn't match up with what you know to be true in your heart. And that's really the struggle of this twin flame journey is you know what you feel in your heart. You know you have deep, deep love for your counterpart. And yet the 3D reality for, I would say, all twin flames, at some point in the journey, there are obstacles to overcome, whether it's distance, whether it's marriages, whether it's um, jobs, whether it's uh, religious um, conditioning, societal conditioning, there, there are things to overcome. And we came here to overcome those obstacles. So I'm just being told, getting a downloaded message, being told to tell you guys, you feminines, if you're in the feminine energy, please keep your vibration high. The masculines are struggling today. The masculines are fighting themselves. The masculines, a lot of them are in situations, almost all of them right now, where they're not happy and they're not content. So if you're in some sort of separation from your masculine, the masculine, <coughs> excuse me, throat chakra, throat chakra closing, they're in fear energy, but the fear is coming out as anger. And they, you know, they're looking to you to be their friend, their confidant and their protector right now. So the feminine is really protective of this union. So feminines, I'm also being told to tell you, be very careful about who you share this journey with and who you talk about your divine counterpart with, because not everyone is going to have your best interest at heart. There are people who are going to be uh, negative. They're going to try to infuse negative energy into your connection. This might be family, friends, uh, coworkers, etc. It doesn't matter. Only share with those who are also on the journey at this present time or friends that are very open-minded and friends that are not going to judge. You are, right now, you're the protector of this connection. You're the leader of the connection the divine feminine energies lead and the masculine follows. That does not mean that the masculine is behind. I wanna make this very clear. So oftentimes, you know, and I've been guilty of this myself, talking to other divine feminines where, oh, the masculine's behind, he's, you know, he's this or he's that, or he, he needs to catch up to me. That is simply not the case. So regardless of what's going on in any pain or, you know, illusion that's going on in the 3D, keep your vibration high and hold your masculine in that high regard and understand that he's doing his best with what he's given right now. He's fighting for this connection as much as you are. There are just obstacles to overcome and there are necessary delays and these delays are put in place. These obstacles are put in place for a reason. So do not doubt this connection. Be that fierce protector of your masculine, of this connection, and just know that what he really needs right now is a nuzzle. <laughs> I just heard he just wants a warm nuzzle from his beloved. 
He does not need you to tell him you're doing this wrong. You did this wrong, you know, pointing the fingers. What he needs right now is love and warmth. He's feeling left out in the cold. So this is the energy of the divine feminine. So let's check in with the energy now of the divine masculine. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are feeling the shift. I am most certainly, finally, by the grace of goddess, the universe, etc., the cosmos, I'm finally feeling the shift into a lighter energy. Sorry for all the external noise, guys. I, I needed to do this reading. I needed to get it out. And unfortunately, there's a lot of noise going on right now. So I apologize. It's interference, you know, the interference. <clears throat> All right, can we please have a card for the divine masculine energies, please? Thank you. Yeah, I had a feeling. What did I say? I said I wouldn't be surprised if it was white buffalo. And what did we get? Can't make this up, guys. Cannot make it up. So this is the buffalo, the North American bison, okay? I can't believe that. Sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. So this, the buffalo is very sacred to the Native American tribes. And the buffalo was a symbol of magic. And the buffalo is a symbol of strength. <clears throat> a symbol of strength. Uh, buffalo represents abundant life, the will to survive, and the ability to adapt. So right now, the masculines are in this survival mode. Survival is what I'm hearing, fight or flight. You know, they're doing the best they can with their circumstances, but they miss you. They miss their beloved. They're not happy if they're with um, other partners, you know, soul teachers, karmics, whatever you want to label them or call them. You know, if they're stuck in marriages or they're stuck because of children or they feel like they're stuck because we know that this is an illusion, Guys, send them love. Send them love because they actually do feel as though they're stuck. They feel as though they're glued and they can't come towards you. They want to. Their heart, their soul desires you. They want to come towards you, but they just simply don't know how right now. And they're, they're in sadness, but that sadness is turning to anger for some of them. Not for all of them, but for some of them. And... So the white buffalo was considered sacred and considered the harbinger of the peace pipe. So what the masculines are really desiring is peace, you know, this peaceful contract between them and the feminine, but they don't know how to get there right now because the feminine is, you know, in this protective energy, the feminine's protecting the, her counterpart in the connection and the masculine is in this energy of survival. So he's like, I'm just doing what I need to do to survive. I'm just doing what I have to do. But you're always in the back of his mind. He's always thinking about you. And he wants to protect you as well. This is a strength. This is a strong energy, strong masculine dominant energy. But he just simply, you know, he's doing the day-to-day -day tasks right now. He got through the holidays. And, you know, he's, he's, he's masking in a sense. He's masking his true emotions. And he's just doing what he feels like he is supposed to be doing. So... making sure I didn't miss anything yeah this the buffalo is endurance survival strength real virility prosperity prayer so send out a prayer to the universe for your masculine because guys he he is struggling right now he is struggling with his his home life and his situation maybe it's not even that he's with a karmic partner for some of you the karmic might be a mother it might be a job it might be um, you know an addiction of some sort so there's lots of different possibilities that may be going on with the masculines, but I do feel like they're in a lower vibration. Again, just to clarify, this does not mean they're below us. This does not mean they're behind us in the ascension process. It just means they're in a different place. And, you know, sometimes I can tell, sometimes I'm dominant masculine energy by nature, and I am really learning to be in my receptive feminine energy. And when I go into that receptive feminine energy, it allows him to go in his beautiful masculine energy and everything is balanced. But for a lot of feminines, you know, we've been brought up to be very strong personalities, very strong feminines, and the masculines are confused by that. When we go in and we balance our internal masculine and feminine energies uh, and the, any distortions that we may have going on within us, we, you know, the masculine feels that and then he starts to balance out his masculine and feminine. 
So what ideally we want, guys, is if your masculine is in distorted masculine energy, okay, if he's an ego, right, or he's simply not, um, he's just not responding in the way that you'd like him to, or maybe he's being a bit abrasive, you know, he's puffing out his chest, I want you to go within. Do not point the finger at him, but rather go within and see how... How, how am I imbalanced within with my masculine and feminine energies? And do I have some distortions going in? You know, do you have maybe perhaps there was a relationship in the past and you you went through a man hating phase? Okay, this could this could lead to distortion and it's buried and you don't even know it's still there. So we need to heal those father wounds. We need to heal those man hating wounds that are present for some women. And I want to bring this to the surface and I know it might be triggering for some of you, but this is divine truth tarot. I'm here to bring you the truth. I am not here to sugarcoat, but I'm here to do it with love. So I'm with love feminines. Check and see if you have any of those wounds because if your masculine is stuck in the ego, I want you to check in with your inner masculine energies and see how you can balance those out with your feminine energies because that's what the masculine needs in order to come and step into his feminine energies and come out of that distortion of ego. So I'm going to pull some cards now from the wisdom of the oracle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, how beautiful. Look at this. Well, that's a lot of cards, spirit. Oh, okay. So you know what's beautiful is, I said beautiful twice, but it's beautiful because you're beautiful and I'm beautiful and we're all beautiful. Look at this. This card was when I was shuffling, I saw it and I said, if it's meant to be, it will come out and it came out. So this, there is no twin flame card in this deck. So this is the twin flame card, soulmate. So if any of you were watching and you had a question, is this person my twin flame? Yes, they are. This is a yes. Penguins mate for life, and if they're not the cutest animals on earth with how they love each other, I don't know. If you don't like penguins, I don't know, something's wrong with you. <laughs> if you don't like animals, something's wrong with you, but if you don't like penguins, I mean, how adorable are they? So this is, and I see the ancestor in the clouds looking down upon this connection. So your ancestors are blessing this connection. I'm going to actually, <clears throat> we have TikTok. So divine timing, okay, divine timing. Let's do this. Just turn the cards around for you lovely, lovely viewers. Turn it around. Don't you guys love it when I sing? <laughs> okay, that's better. So, okay. <clears throat> so we've got the twin flame card. We have TikTok, divine timing. Do not fret. Your union will come together and is coming together, is, is, is in divine timing. So let go of any worry of time or I'm, I'm getting older or this needs to happen now or I want to have children or, you know, I, I'm turning, you know, X, X age, you know, next month and this needs to happen. Guys, time is an illusion. And, you know, we have time on the physical plane, but in the spiritual plane, the spiritual realm, time doesn't exist, okay? It's unnecessary to fret about it. Do not stress about it. Live your life, and Spirit is telling me to tell you to really be grateful for every moment that you're living right now. TikTok, it's not only divine timing, but it's saying that everything is divine timing. So every moment is divine. Every moment is divinely orchestrated. You are protected. You are loved. You are being guided. And everything that's happening right now is necessary. So if there are delays, they're necessary. If your partner, if your loved one, your beloved, your flame is with a karmic partner or a soul teacher, they are teaching them something that you cannot teach them. And it's all part of the divine plan. Appreciate each moment as you're in it. Go out with friends, bond with family, with pets, with hobbies, with interests, with passions. Light up, ignite your career. Okay, go after your goals. And your beloved is going to catch up because he's going to feel you being in such, or he or she is going to feel you being in such incredible, fiery, passionate energy that they're going to want to be with you. And it's going to be undeniable at a certain point. And I strongly feel as though these twin flame connections are going to come together rather quickly in 2020. And I'm hearing 2020 through 2022. Other readers are he hearing 2020 through 2024. Um, but I'm definitely hearing over the next three years. Um, I used to hear five years, then it dropped down to four, and now I'm hearing three. So within three years. And it doesn't mean it'll take three years to come into, you know, physical union. It just means that, you know, 
potentially up to three years. But I'm seeing a lot of unions coming together this year in 2020 and in 2021 and 2022. So we have the peace card. This is just, guys, I mean, bring peace into your connection, bring peace into your life, bring peace into your mindset, okay? Because really what this card is saying is if there's been any sort of distortion, you know, in, in the energies, distorted masculine, distorted feminine, or simply if there's been a strife, you know, especially over the holiday season, because a lot of us, I mean, myself included, um, I felt some jealousy towards the karmic partner. I felt as though I was being neglected, ignored, and I just want to make this clear that what's really being called for right now is peace, is the energy of softness and peace within this connection, okay? There's not much more to say about that. It speaks for itself. And we were just talking about masculine and feminine energy. So this is the yin card. This is the feminine receptive card. Feminines, open up to your feminine side, your feminine energies, so that you can receive. So surrender to what is. Surrender to divine timing. Know that this is your divine counterpart. Understand that he's going through some times right now where he's really just doing whatever he can to survive, okay? And be his protector, okay? Be his protector, and forgive forgive your masculine he never meant to hurt you my masculine has said to me several times he never wants to hurt me he's never meant to hurt me so whatever is going on they're not doing it on purpose to hurt you okay it's coming from its situations its circumstances but they're not doing it to upset you or make you cry or make you angry with them they they just want peace that's all they want is peace and this connection they love you and then I have go the distance. So guys, we know that this is a journey and not a destination, okay? So the twin flame journey is one of many twists and turns, okay? There's mountains to climb, there's hills to roll down. There are, you know, lakes to hop and skip over. There are things that will be, that will look and appear as though they're in the way. And this is when you're really being tested. Are you going to go the distance? Are you going to give up? And I want you to understand something, and I'm gonna actually anchor the camera back. I want you guys to understand something. If you say, forget this, I'm giving up on the twin flame journey, I'm giving up on my twin flame, you're not giving up on your twin because your twin is a reflection of you. What you're really saying is, I give up on myself. And you're going to be in a world of pain if you choose to give up on yourself. You cannot get off of this journey you're on it. It's been ignited. You've met in person. The flames have been ignited, guys. You can't just say, oh, I'm done. And I see that all over the place, okay? And, you know, <clears throat> other you in the comment sections and, and things like that. You can't do that. That's coming from a place of ego. And I know it's coming from a place of pain as well. See if you can. The best thing to do in that situation is going to be to transmute that pain into joy and happiness. Transmute it into some sort of transformation in your own personal life. Go within and seek and say, okay, I know I've done a lot of healing and I thought I've done it all, but what more is there to do? Call on the archangels, call on your ancestors, call on your guides, call on the universe, call on God, whomever it is that you believe in to help you, to give you the strength to continue going forward. And always, always, always come back to you because this, this whole journey is about the journey back to self-love and the journey back to you, loving yourself unconditionally because as we love ourselves unconditionally, we open ourselves up to loving others unconditionally as well. And I just want to make that really, 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 really clear because you cannot get off this journey. And yeah, I mean, you're on the journey for a reason. Now, I want to make something else clear, and I think I'll do a separate video on this. Um, a toxic relationship that is not your twin flame. Without 100%, that's not your twin flame. That's a false twin and you should not be going the distance with that. That's a lesson, and a lot of times that comes prior to meeting your twin. So if you feel like you're being treated unfairly or you feel like this person, um, if there's just incredible amounts of pain and you know it's just not codependency that you're healing or you know it's not a lesson that you're learning along the way, right? Because our twins trigger us and they're, are, they're our divine mirror. So as long as you know it's not your pain, but if somebody is causing you emotional, physical pain, this is not your twin flame. This is a distortion and it's in the collective and it's very present. And I just wanna make that very clear. Um, Guided by Angels and I are going to be talking about that. As soon as we can figure out the technology of making a video in two different countries, we're gonna be bringing you that video. <laughs> 
<laughs> we haven't figured it out yet. If anybody knows, please let me know. If you can help us out, that would be fantastic. <clears throat> so go and support her channel. She's wonderful as well. Um, she's based in England <clears throat> and she is an amazing, amazing reader as well. So let's find out. I've got the Gilded Tarot again. This is quickly becoming my favorite deck. I have the Wild Unknown Tarot as well, but this there's, there's a draw to this recently. Okay. All right, guys, I got something's blowing around out here. <laughs> I told you you were going to get more silly from me. Okay. What is going on with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminines? What is going on with the counterparts today? What do we need to know, Spirit? Show me what we need to know. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? We got this card yesterday. So this is confirmation, the fool. The fool is the beginning of the major arcana. It's the beginning of the hero's journey. So this is all about new beginnings. So fret not my beautiful feminines if you're concerned about what's the masculine doing you know there's a lot of shadow aspects there's a lot of things being hidden right now what you're seeing in the on the 3d is not really the reality there are new beginnings afoot both in your personal life for you and your abundance and your career a lot of you are stepping into self-employment a lot of you are stepping into your spiritual power and your spiritual career so fret not, you're protected. This is protection from the universe. You are protected and connected. It is what is what I'm hearing. Protected and connected. That is a mouthful. Thank you. Um, so you're protected on this new beginning, but there's also a new beginning in love for you. And you know this can be triggering to a lot of people. They say, I don't want a new person. I don't want a soulmate. I want my twin flame. Well, this can be a new beginning, a new cycle for you with your beloved. So it's a beautiful card. <clears throat> just want to get a little clarification on this we've got the seven of wands a lot of fire energy aries leo sagittarius okay so <clears throat> you know this card feel it feels like he's being threatened if you see all the swords coming at him and or sorry wands coming at him and he's got his wand up as well he's defensive so the masculines are in defensive mode, like we talked about here with the bison. Let me just, like we talked about, right, guys, with this <clears throat> bison card, excuse me, for the masculines. The masculines are in a bit of a defensive posture right now. They're feeling defensive. They're feeling, especially um, those that are in karmic relationships, they feel like they have to defend their wealth. They're defending their palace and they're defending their, their right to have an opinion. I'm really hearing they're defending their right to have an opinion. And as they do so, guys, they are, they're feeling exhausted. So I want to get some clarification on the Seven of Wands. They're feeling exhausted. I'm, I'm also hearing out of breath. Like they're just, they're done. They're done talking. They don't want to, there's arguing going on for some of them. There's fighting going on behind the scenes. And they're not sharing this with their Divine Feminine because they don't want to burden her. So we've got the Knight of Wands. So your masculine wants to come in as the Knight of Wands, okay? So he wants to come in, this Knight of Wands, riding on his horse. Again, Wands and Wands, fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, your masculine may be a fire sign, but he doesn't need to be. You may be a fire sign as well. It can be interchangeable. But, you know, the Knight of Wands, to me, this the Knights are all about charging in with passion, you know, dynamite energy. Um, it really just not not thinking the, this is feeling energy okay the the wands is feeling energy swords is intellect but the wands is all about passion it's all about you know physical prowess it's about going after your heart's desire so they want to break away from this struggle that they're currently in with their 3d situation and they really want to come towards the one that they love their beloved how is the masculine feeling about the feminine at this time how is the masculine feeling about the feminine at this time guys 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 okay so we've got four of wands this came up yesterday and i believe this card came up as well so we've got four of wands which is the happiest card besides the ten of cups i think they're they're pretty um parallel with happiness but four of wands is a happy home happy life happy wife happy life and you know everything is working out you know you're you're on the same wavelength you're energetically connected, you're physically connected, you're sexually connected, you're 
emotionally connected, you're spiritually connected, everything has come together and this is just happy, happy home, happiness abounding. Justice, to me, this is always the card of divorce or separation, you know, but it's also signifying that, you know, the weight of the scales, justice is coming. Justice is coming to the feminines who have been waiting, the feminines who have been longing for their masculine to come forward with some sort of message you know and you see the knight of wands you know he wants to charge in he wants to deliver the four of wands guys he really wants to give you this he knows everything he wants to give you he just feels like he can't because of the obstacles and the illusions that are in the way the 3d illusions but he wants to bring you justice he wants to bring you justice right i asked how the masculine felt about the feminine he wants to bring her justice and he wants to give her this happy home he wants to be with her he wants to experience what it would be like to have this happy home with his feminine because he knows it would be satisfying he knows that it would be so different than the life that he's living right now his life right now is you know void of passion and intimacy and he's not allowed to be his true self in his current situation with his current partner so he really wants to come forward and charge forward in that knight of wands energy to the feminine guys there's so much fire energy so he sees you as the queen of wands three cards now in that fire energy so he sees you as the queen of wands he sees you as passionate fiery sexual sensual and he wants to come forward he wants to charge forward and deliver so how's the feminine viewing the masculine how is the feminine viewing the masculine how is the feminine viewing the masculine So I got Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords, you know, this is a defensive woman, okay? But, you know, this is applying to the masculine energies. But this is a defensive person. She's been hurt, likely hurt in the past. She, you know, she's got her guard up. And, you know, we know that the masculines are in that place. We know that they're in this place of defensiveness. We've already talked about this. So the feminine is seeing her masculine as being a bit defensive right now, as holding back. Maybe he feels cold or icy. And he's not really expressing his emotions at the moment. He is in this energy of, you know, the seven of wands, this just defensive posture. He's like, I don't know what to do. You know, I keep on hurting her. I don't want to hurt her. I love her. But, you know, I've been hurt before. He's scared to open up emotionally. And guys, this connection is so powerful. This connection is so powerful for the masculines. They've never experienced unconditional love like this before, probably not even from a parent. They've never experienced it from uh, another lover. They, they didn't realize that they were worthy of such incredible passion and love and happiness. They're coming to terms with it, but there is a bit of defensiveness at the moment, right? They're coming to terms with who they really are. They see you as their queen. They see you as the queen of wands. They see you as the person who's going to bring happiness and passion and fun and excitement and energy. They want to give you that justice and they want to bring, you know, this relationship, this connection to the four of wands. And that's their ultimate goal. And they want to start over, guys. They want to start over. I mean, this card came up two days in a row. So I just saw 3322. <laughs> Sorry, I've got allergies coming up or something. So 3322, as I said, you know, new beginnings, the fool starting over, new cycles in this connection. So looking forward to that. But feminines, you've got to keep your vibration high. Be in that receptive surrender mode. Do not fight the connection. Do not go against divine timing. Okay? And know that this is your twin flame. This is your twin flame. And forgive. Forgive everything. Forgive the past. The past is over. We're in 2020. It's a clean slate painting the canvas. It's a brand new decade. So please forgive your masculine. They didn't mean to hurt you. They love you. They love you unconditionally. They love you so much. They don't even know what to do with that love. They don't even know how to contain that love. They think about you all the time and they want to go the distance with you. And they, they really, really do. So allow this new beginning to manifest. Allow the magic to happen. Know that you are protected and connected at all times. Call on your ancestors, call on your guides, call on the archangels, the universe, God, whomever, to give you the strength to carry through. And whenever you feel like giving up, remember what I said. If you give up on this connection, you're giving up on yourself and you're going to find yourself in a very challenging situation. 
continue the path and go forward. All is well and you are loved. I'll see you soon. Have a beautiful day.